Okay, we're now going to show you how to do a puff sleeve. The Xerox star pattern, now some of the patterns may just give you this outside line. This is about a half an inch in, so just make a half inch smaller circle in the middle. This is on cardstock, so we cut the outside out of fabric, and then we're going to cut the inside circle, which is a half inch smaller, and we're going to put, uh, we hand gathered around the outside of the fabric and put the smaller circle inside and pulled it tight and then we pressed it so it gave a really hard press to the uh, outer edge and we're going to take out the center and then what we do is we add some batting in the middle for some shape we're going to hand gather you could wait on the batting and gather the outside and the gathers are pretty big like even bigger than a half inch the reason being each time you gather it makes a fold of fabric and if there are too many folds then the uh, ruffle of her sleeve will be kind of wide it won't gather in small So you go all the way around, it doesn't take very long because the stitches are so big. Okay, now we can add that batting. And we pull it tight, and that's when we get the little gathered shape. Okay, now we can go back and forth across the uh, ruffle the tight part of the ruffle and that will pull it in too. Look how that just pulls it and makes it look like it's going to be tight around her little arm. This is such a fun technique. Okay, this goes to our garden lady. She's a 350 download. She's just darling. It says to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Now she looks a little distorted till we put her sleeve on. We're going to lift her little head and we're going to put the sleeve shape so that it covers her, you know, it comes down to her waist, it covers this distortion that's in the piecing, but that doesn't show, so we didn't, we didn't care about that. We're going to hold her sleeve, and then we're just going to come in and blind stitch. Of course, blind stitch is where you come up and you go back down in pretty much the same place and then you progress forward underneath the quilt so that the top just has a tiny stitch that doesn't show that's why it's called blind stitch now we're not going to wash this quilt um, you know it's wall hanging little gift if we do it it's hand wash with very little agitation so you know the stitches can be fairly um, far apart it's not like an applique where those pieces have to be pretty tightly sewn down okay and we get around we're gonna go all the way around and we're gonna come up and pull in the uh, ruffle a little tighter so it looks like it's just down on that arm now her hand is going to be added later but that just gives her such dimension and such personality once we add her face She's going to just be darling, but that's how we do a puff sleeve. I hope this helps.